Welcome back to my channel, Medicare Secrets, where I uncover the mystery and the mayhem of Medicare. So today's hot topic is what's going to happen in 2023 for the Part B premium and what is happening with the Social Security increase that I keep hearing about that maybe you're you're hearing about as well. So let's dive right in. We're, I'm going to cover an article that explains why the Part B premium went in 2021 from 148.50 a month to this year Medicare beneficiaries are paying 170 almost all Medicare beneficiaries unless you have a very high income or you have a very low income most Americans are paying 170.10 this year whereas last year they were paying 148.50 a month for their Part B premium to Medicare that was the largest rise in our Medicare premium in 40 years, four decades. It, a lot of people thought it was due to inflation, but I'm going to unpack an article in a few minutes. I've, I've actually talked about this before. It was raised because of an Alzheimer's medication that is, is supposed to be covered by Medicare. So I'm going to unpack this article from FiercePharma.com. It's a great source. I love reading it. I get all the updates. Let's start right now. I'm going to get into this article. So here we go, guys. As promised, FiercePharma.com delivered. Um, here's the great article. A $57 billion drug. Medicare faces a massive bill for Biogen's Adjuhelm, even if it limits coverage. So what Adjuhelm is, is a is an Alzheimer's revolutionary drug, and its cost is fifty-seven billion dollars. So let's let's read on. There's been a lot of controversy in the news about this topic and our current administration and all kinds of things. But I don't get political on my channel. Um, all right, here we go. Cruel, unconscionable, and simply unacceptable were some of the sharp words critics used to describe Biogen's whopping $56,000 list price for a year's worth of Alzheimer's drug Alduhelm, uh, Aduhelm soon after, after it crossed the FDA's finish line. Who the hell can afford that? Questioned Senator Bernie Sanders from Vermont. That's what Washington is now trying to work out as thousands of Medicare beneficiaries line up for the first FDA approved Alzheimer drug in nearly two decades. So I'm just going to stop right here for one moment, guys, and share something I brought up a little bit ago before I dove into the article. Uh, the reason why Medicare's premium for Part B went up from 148.50 last year to 170.10 was not just inflationary. And, and in fact, that may not have caused the biggest increase. It was really due to this prescription coming out um, because it is an infusion or an injection in a doctor's office, which is billed to Medicare, original Medicare Part B. And so Medicare would have to foot the bill of 80% for that. Okay. So let's, let's continue on. And it's going to now, we're getting into the um, Kaiser Family Foundation what they found as their study. The Kaiser Family Foundation found Aduhelm's bill to Medicare could hit $29 billion for just one year. That's nearly five times the FDA's own budget and over three times the size of the CDC's, not to mention more than twice the amount of Biogen's own 2020 sales. And that kind of wallop to Medicare will likely push up premiums for all 56 million enrollees, Kaiser Fa Family Foundation recent report said. All that spending would come for a drug with foggy benefits. And by the way, it already was increased. So I don't, I, they're not calling for another increase for next year. I would be surprised, but you just don't know. And I will keep you all posted as I hear. Um, all that spending would come for a drug with foggy benefits at best, critics argue. Some are pleading with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, CMS, to soft, that's Medicare, to soften the fiscal blow by limiting the pool of Alzheimer's patients who would qualify for treatment while additional studies are carried out. But the CMS process could take months and the additional testing up to nine years. And Biogen isn't waiting to ship out Adjuhelm in the meantime. I would say this is the most controversial FDA approval in many years. And it takes what was controversial about pre controversial about previous approvals and makes it more extreme. Rachel Sachs, a law professor at Washington University in St. Louis, said in an interview, "The drugs list price may not only may not be the only burden for Medicare. Right now, patients have to pick up the tab for diagnostic tools like PET scans to detect Adjuhelm's primary target target amyloid plaque in the brain." 
but but a med tech industry group and some top companies are pressing CMS to cover the three thousand dollar plus scans as well. So currently, what's interesting is Medicare is not covering the um, diagnostic tools for the they're, they're not covering the cost of these PET scans to detect the the this plaque in the brain. So that's interesting, but they're pressing Medicare to cover it. So lawmakers are taking notice. In a letter Wednesday, Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bill Cassidy called on the Senate Finance Committee to hold a hearing on the drugs costs and the financial challenges facing Medicare. With criticism mounting, Biogen issued a lengthy response Wednesday promising to work with public and private insurers to ensure Aduhelm doesn't break their budgets. In Cambridge, Massachusetts-based the, the Cambridge, Massachusetts-based drug maker didn't say whether it would discount Addie Helm's price, but it did reiterate its promise to forego price hikes for four years. Still, the drug might have been worth at least 50000 if it actually halted the progress of dementia, said David Wittrap, vice president for communications at the Institute for Clinical and Economic Review. Review. Before Ad Uhelm's approval, the drug cost watchdog estimated the drug should cost $8,300 per year at most. We don't think there's anything necessarily stingy about what we considered a fair price for this treatment, Wittrap said in an interview. Even at the low end of our fair price, we're talking at a, about a blockbuster treatment. Well, that's for sure. It would change lives, change families, change our world, really. Um, anyway, Medicare's enormous bill. Roughly 6 million Americans have Alzheimer's, and most of them are covered through Medicare. Biogen said Wednesday, it's targeting only those in the early stages, which is an estimated $1 million to $2 million, two million patients. So I'm just, again, it's, it's, this drug is for those in early stages of Alzheimer, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, Juliet Kubansky, a, K, a Kaiser Family Foundation Deputy Director on Medicare Policy, jotted out a few estimates in the foundation's recent report. In 2017, about 2 million Medicare beneficiaries used an Alzheimer's treatment. In the Kaiser Family Foundation's conservative estimates say just a quarter of those 2 million patients, or 500,000, take Aduhelm. Given that Medicare typically reimburses providers slightly above the actual cost of a new drug, total spending for Aduhelm alone would be $29 billion, Kubansky figured. That's about 78% of Medicare's total 219 I mean, sorry, 2019 spending on Part B drugs, which are the prescriptions administered by doctors. Again, Aduhelm is administered by a doctor in a doctor's office. So bump that up to 1 million people and the cost to CMS goes to 57 billion. That's not only well above total spending for all Part B, more than Johnson, and but more for, than but more than Johnson & Johnson, the biggest drug maker on the planet, brought in last year with its entire worldwide portfolio of prescription drugs. Let that sink in, guys. Wow. Because Part B is partially financed through premiums, costs for all Medicare beneficiaries are set to climb. It's tough to estimate how much premiums might rise, Kubansky said, but if Medicare covers it, they will. So again, they're not, they anticipated already, they already bulked into Medicare the increase from, from 148 to 170 tens. So it is unlikely. It's so political. This is all, there's always just politics on our health. And, and it's one of the reasons for my channel. It's, it upsets me to no end, especially when it, it's seniors. And, and that's why I do what I do. And that's just all it is. But anyway, the likelihood that Medicare is that Medicare covers this drug. And in that case, the cost of covering the medication is going to be paid, not be paid, not just by the patient who takes it, but by everybody who's enrolled in Medicare Part B. Okay. But it, it already was increased, guys. So what Medicare can do. Medicare doesn't have to roll over and accept the charge, critics argue. CMS could restrict Aduhelm's almost shockingly broad label, as some analysts put it, to a subset of patients who would benefit most from the treatment, like those studied in clinical trials, for instance, through a so-called national coverage determination, or an NCD. In most situations, Medicare will cover an FDA-approved medication deemed responsible and reasonable and necessary. So CMS usually hues closely to the FDA's label, which specifies that patients are eligible, Kubansky noted. But the, the picture with Aduhelm is murky. The agency's accelerated approval came after intense controversy over whether Aduhelm, a monthly infusion that's not curative, actually helped patients at all. The FDA's own expert advisors voted against approval and advisory committee members might may, um, and advisory, advisory committee members have quit in protest. 
The problem is, is that we're talking about spending a huge amount of money on something that provides no clinical value or almost no clinical value, sex ed. See that just two sides, two sides, three sides to every story, you know, one side, the other side, and then there's the truth. That's that I didn't read that. I'm that's my opinion. Um, the FDA used the removal of amyloid at plaque uh, as a surrogate endpoint rather than an actual clinical outcome, such as slowing cognitive decline, while the agency argued reducing amyloid plaque would ultimately benefit patients. The amyloid theory has failed miserably in other drug uh, trials. So I'm just going to scroll on down to um, will Medicare do it? Uncoupling CMS's coverage from the FDA's approval label would set a very important precedent and would pave the way for future reforms of prescription drug reimbursement and spending going forward, Sachs recently wrote in Health Affairs. KFS KFF's Kubansky noted that Aguhelm is a good candidate for that process, given the price of the drug and given the questions about the effectiveness of the medication. Without an NCD, there would likely be varying local co coverage determination that could give some patients access, access to Aguhelm in some areas while denying coverage in others, Kubansky added. A CMS spokesperson said the agency is reviewing the FDA's decision regarding Aducanumab and will have more information soon. So that must be the, um, that, that long word I just said is the um, chemical word for the drug, uh, chemistry word. So uh, CMS Administrator Chiquita brooks Lesher has declined to tell reporters how the agency will proceed. So, you know, it's um, yet to be determined and stay close to the channel. We'll be able to touch on this topic over and over and over as it evolves. Pretty controversial. I still don't think they're going to raise the Part B premium for next year, but you never know because it Again, they are raising the Social Security because of inflation. That could give them the excuse to raise the Part B premium again. We're not going to know for at least, what's today, September 24th. We're not going to know for probably four, six, eight weeks uh, that answer. But as soon as we know, I will let you know. Anyway, thanks again for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, and if you want to be notified for any videos that come out, you can hit the bell icon uh, on the subscribe button down there. Thanks so much, and I will see you guys next time.